Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a brand new Let's Play. We're going to be playing Eagle Rising, and we're going to be doing a essentially a test campaign. So we're going to get into it, and I'll explain as we go. But essentially, we're going to be playing as the Empire again. I know, for uh, it's probably going to be called the Empire Divide Must Unite. I haven't got a name for it in concrete. Obviously, as soon as I have, you guys will the video will be up, and channel members will be seeing it. So it doesn't really matter. But either way. The reason we're doing a test game as the Empire is because we're on the new version of 1.2.9. And a lot of things have changed. The biggest change being that realistic battle mods is a must and you don't have a choice. And as such, um, I want to... Jesus Christ, that hair's really fucked. Uh, I wanted to um, essentially test the game with all of the normal um, stuff. I'm not going to waste my time designing my character too much. Uh, we'll give him. Yeah, I don't really, I'm not really the biggest fan. Yeah, we'll give him that hair, and you know, we'll, we'll have a bit of facial hair, I guess. Even though it, you know the game doesn't seem to like it at the moment. Let's just have a. Uh... I'm not really a big fan of any. Oh, we'll go for that one. There we go. So uh, we're just gonna quickly set up a character. It's it's not anything special. Now the campaign is going to be. So when I say the character is not even special, I don't mean that in the sense of, oh, this is just a throwaway game. We are going to be playing this, and the whole point of this campaign is to unite the Empire, and essentially work as a vassal of the Empire to unite it, using the diplomacy mod to essentially dictate stuff, for succession, save against successions, and basically play a campaign where we are um, going to be a loyal follower of the Empire and try and unite the Empire... And that's kind of it. Like, once we unite the Empire, I, it's up to you guys if we continue or finish. But there, there there, will also be another campaign at some point where we're going to be playing as probably the Germanics or the Dryatics. Or, there isn't... I haven't really figured out who I'm going to play as as a second one, but I wanted to play as the Empire because when I saw how much it changed, especially about the units, I was like, oh, okay, I have to play the Empire because now I'm like, I want to go for a baseline that I understand to see the differences and then go for everything else. Also, the Empire have the best changes, so there is that. Now, we will be playing as an infantryman this time because, you know, I feel like, you know, get a little bit of the Rising Eagle back for this. Um, so let's see what stats make us the best. Um, we will need our endurance up. So we'll go, we'll, we'll go for some herbs. Why not? Uh, now, we obviously, uh, we trained with the infantry. None of these other ones would make sense for us because uh, we didn't do any of those. We trained with the infantry. Um, what did we do when we were young? Um... I mean, let a successful manhunt kind of feels like the most accurate of what we would have done. And we're going to be 20. So we've got, we've also got the CC mods. Now, if you are interested in any of the mods I'm using today, please do just check down below. All the mods are down there. So you do not need to worry uh, about trying to figure out exactly where I got them on. And I should say all of the mods, if I'm remembering correctly, are actually from Steam Workshop now. I don't think I've got any mods off the Nexus Workshop, though I will have still, I will still of course, leave the, the access to the versions for Nexus if you prefer to get them from there. Um, so yeah, let's just design ourselves a really cool banner. Ooh, kind of like that. It's like Illuminati. I mean, that actually is the Illuminati, I'm pretty sure. There's that one. I'm pretty sure, Oh, you could just go full now. That's a bit too similar. Um, we could go red with the, uh, the yellow. But it's going to change, so it doesn't really matter, because we're going to probably be joining the... Oh, no, that's the wrong one. I'm probably going to be joining the... Um... Oh, I had those the wrong way around. Yeah, there we go. We're going to be probably joining the Empire with the black colouring this time, I think. Um, but still, let's try and find ourselves a really nice logo. I do like eagles. They're really cool. Um, I don't want to use a Japanese mon, because that's a bit... really suit. Um, but yeah, so like I said, the, like wh while I'm trying to figure this out, the basic goal of this campaign is to, like I said help one of them unite the empire and you know that's that's literally all we want to do like i just want to unite the empire and you know go from there um you know what sod it will have a rampant lion i like the gray on black uh we're going to be the oh what do i want my family name to be this time well let us get the good old roman name generator which we will not need for the majority of this campaign so it's okay but uh yeah so Hopefully you guys are interested in this series. I am very much interested to show you what I've experienced of the small amount, like the small amount I've done of playing this. 
from what I've seen, it is a very interesting uh, change. You know what? I don't think I've ever just used... Yeah. Why do I feel like I've spelled that wrong? It's... Hmm. That feels wrong. Why does that not feel like I've spelled it right? Why? D A E S A R. Yeah, that is right. Sorry about this, guys. I'm just. This is what happens when I record early in the morning. My brain just doesn't work. Yeah, I am spelling it right. I'm just a dumbass. Uh, let's just see what names are here. See if we can find a cool one for us. Something tells me we're not going to find a good one. Which is going to be Gaius Kaiser. Alright, let's get straight into this. So, let's uh, just get straight into the game and we'll decide what we're going to do. So let's have a look who's what. See, we're going to join the North Empire this time. Because I feel like the North always kind of get the... Uh, I don't know, they just they don't feel like they ever really win. Let's go into Dynistica and we'll grab ourselves some, uh, some troops. So the new troops are very different. So the Auxilio Quartero can only go into three different things. Vagitari, Equus, and the normal um, tree. And Legionary Tiro, Tiro can only go up to the usual what you'd expect. Um, also, there are new bandit types. So yeah, we're going to be chilling in the city for a little bit. Because uh, yeah, the new bandit types are... To say they're quite painful would be an understatement if I'm completely honest. Um, we're going to upgrade that, get two points there, point in there. We'll worry about uh, that later. We will need to quickly buy some food, so we're not going to starve our uh, beautiful men uh, beautiful men out. We'll wait for tomorrow. It's about midday tomorrow, and there we go. Troops there, yep. Uh, so we're, we're already getting some uh, troops. So we're going to quickly just go out and have a little bit of a walk now. As you can see, Gladiator Rebels. They are hard as hell to fight, I've found out. I don't mean like in the sense of like, oh my god, I you would probably not, you know, they'll, they'll end the entire campaign. It's not like that, but they are unknown. Also, this is the first time I've run into the uh, Evocati tree during uh, when I've been doing this. So let's grab all of those. Actually, whoa, before we do, how expensive are they? So they are 200 now. So for four of these, I get one of those now. For now, that's not worth it. Right, let's see if we can take out these Babadi. I'll show you guys what it's like to fight on this version of the mod, which is... It's pretty fun, to be fair. Let's go for it. As you can see, Barbari have got some big armies as well, but let's do this. We should have relatively easy time due to the fact that we're, you know... Oh, why do I have a fucking horse? Get the fuck off the horse. Yeah, I have a gladius. Why the hell would I go on a horse? Yeah, I need to take that horse off. Of my um, actual uh, thing and use it as a uh, stump to infantry all right so as you can see Move. we are using the realistic Keep battle mod as uh, we have no choice so yeah as you can see it's really uh, a big learning curve i've noticed but it's a learning curve i'm willing to try Charge! The good thing is we at least have very good armor comparatively of um, our thing. And holy shit, these guys actually... Oh yeah, they've nearly broke my shield with a single throw. And as you can see, there is a health bar at the top. There is also the whole posture mechanics. Now, I don't really understand the realistic battle mods enough to explain it to you all. But as you can see, the barbarians aren't exactly uh, unequipped, uh, you know, or... Uh, you know, easy to kill. They're, uh... Yeah, they have ranging, um, you know, equipment. So we'll take the prisoner. Ooh, Masterwork Germanic Sword. And as you can see, everything has deeper stats now as well. Uh, I did try to turn off realistic battle mods completely and be like, yeah, we don't need you on at all. Uh, it does not work. The game will essentially not refuse to work, but just... It's very obvious that the game will not work, play properly. Because you do like no damage ever. Like you okay, we're also gonna we're gonna chuck this guy away because he's slowing us down a bit too much. Right, so yeah, at the moment we're going a little bit too slow. 
are going to need to pick up a little bit. If we can get these nine, that should uh, earn us. Okay, if we're not, fine. I'll put the. Uh, so... Yeah, for some reason, me riding a horse makes us faster. Don't know why, but uh, like I know riding a horse obviously in general makes you faster. Oh, that lord's gonna kill him, in isn't he? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna have to ignore that. Right, we're gonna need to go to a city and sell whatever loot we've already made. Uh, we will be doing tournaments, of course, and of course we will also be joining the. Uh... Wow, we've already made. A gr oh wow, that masterwork sword's already coming in clutch for me. Okay, so we'll. Uh, great, we're back. We're up to full twenty troops. Uh, I'm gonna invest in some horses, I think, if I can afford it. Nope, cannot afford it. Had to check. Uh, now we want to go north as quickly as possible as well. Um, as going north will allow us to get closer to the faction we want to join. And the sooner we join them, obviously, due through things, the better. Now, one of the main reasons I want to play these guys, these are all the new units, as you can see. We have the Optio, Conturio, Pillars Prior, Vixalaris, Signifier, and Aquilia. And there is a bunch of other troops. We then have the Decurio, which is uh, gives 15. Um, was a Roman cavalry officer. We have the Optio, which is the uh, Optio, Options. Uh, they're essentially the rank of fire. We have Conturians, Pillars Priors, and then we have the Praetorians. We have the Equites Praetorians, the cavalry, and then normal Praetorians. We also have the Legionaris Ballistus, uh, which is a hand ballista, but a work in progress. So, we have a bunch of new things. And th again, this is why I specifically chose to play um, as the Romans again. Not because I wanted, you know, an easy ride, but because I knew that they're because of I saw of how much new stuff they included. Looking. I was very much interested in, you know, showing you guys very specifically uh, everything as well. Excuse me, guys, I need to quickly get off my horse. All right, we'll uh, prepare ourselves. But yeah, so hopefully um, this campaign will prove uh, or at least show how cool they've uh, like the work, work is. I still think that uh, the mod maker really should have um, made RBM a sub mod. But at the same time, I don't know what one work goes into making mods. So I can't really say, you know, I can't really say fairly that... Um, you know, it, I can't. Really, I can't really like you know make a fair com uh, like assessment without um, knowing how modding works, and because I don't, I don't want to claim oh it'd be easy or it'd be hard or whatnot. So obviously no hate towards them. I do like the uh, the mod, and I, it's probably become one of my favorite mods, if not my favorite mod, purely because you know Rome. Um, now I will also say battles are going to take a lot longer now because uh, well. Realistic battle mods, man. It really does make the battle take a lot longer. That's definitely going to be one of those things where we really need to make sure we speed ourselves up. He's going to run away. Yeah, he's not, we're not going to be able to cast that Barbus. Uh, but as you can see, we've got loads of upgrades. I have no intention of doing any just yet. Uh, until I've got a good amount of money in the, uh, the in my corner, I don't intend to throw or do anything that would um, kind of was concerned for me in my economy right now we don't have an economy uh, i also don't intend to go anywhere near gladiator rebels for a while they scare me uh and I, they scare me because of the test games i've done uh, not because i'm uh you know i generally think they're really good i just in the test game they they bested me every single time are you running away from me Yes, you are. Cool. So, you got a problem. It'll be an easy fight, or at the very least, it should be a fight. On my forward. And as you see, they've got new logos and everything because of the thing. Perfect move! We'll move our guys so they are uh, nice and ready for a fight. Our first person is probably better for us to use our throwing weapons, but we'll see. Yeah, because we, we have like no skill, we're gonna have to wait. Yeah, they need to be a lot closer if we're gonna use them. See, like that. But as soon as they get close, that's it. We just need to charge. Now again, um, the early battles are gonna really prove to kind of show just um, you know the skill of like professional soldiers versus barbarians and whatnot. 
I still don't really understand the posture mechanic, and if anybody can explain it to me in the comments, that would be great. I know that you were uh, like incorrect blocking and stuff leads to bad posture because obviously that's what the game tells you, but outside of that, I don't understand it. Here we go. Another beautiful victory there. Um, so all of my Legionari want to level up. If I level them up, instead of paying them free, I'd be paying them five, and it cost me actually it doesn't cost me that much to upgrade them. Yeah, well, you know, what? fuck it. Four hundred and five is basically double what I have to pay them, but to actually make my army a bit better, definitely not a bad idea at all. Uh, a level up from us again. Um, gonna need some throwing level, uh, for a throwing skill. So we'll level that up now. Uh, we've got a bit of money still, so oh, 24 barbarians. Um, they're running from me, so let's play with them. Back off, stranger. So we do have some archers now, so we're gonna be able Archer to. Everyone. You know, we're gonna be able to Stand apart. make use of those. Turn around quickly, get off our thing. So the real one thing I will say is realistic battle mods does make archers very they, they seem to be, like, a lot more powerful, but at the same time, they uh, do take a lot longer to shoot. And obviously, you know, trying to balance the realism there. So face enemy! Soldiers! Jo archers! Move! Yeah, we'll kind of move our archers to the flank so they can keep fighting. Um, yeah. the, the really issue is now is now that we've got so many of our men our archers we need, do need to make sure that we uh, don't lose anybody still by uh, you know compensating ourselves and being specifically better at ourselves at fighting they did finally kill one of my troops it's the first troop we've lost in uh, all the battles which is unfortunate Now, the likelihood of our archers killing them is not very high, so let's not worry about it. We don't want to accidentally kill any of our own troops. And now these guys could level up into a very important rank already. Now, it is more expensive. However, what this allows me is to immediately get an Optio, which means I can now have 25 troops because we've now got an Optio who allows me to have five more men. I'm oh, sorry, 10 more troops. Why am I not at 30 then? Okay, they must have. They must not have uh, changed the wording, or the wording might just be wrong. Uh, we'll we'll grab all of these. Quickly go here, grab some more. Uh, at the moment, we need uh, legionari more than anything. Quickly trade. Uh, we're making five grand. Yeah, we're making absolute money. So I'm going to buy five horses, and all the fish, and all the meat. So we're going to slowly. Start getting our um, thing up. Uh, Barbari, come we're here. Just, we're just harmless bandits. No, you're not. Get fucked. Die. On my own arrow. Move. Move. There we go. Take off the horse. Go away, horse. Yeah, so they're, oh, we're going to get a good chance here to use our archers, which means I'm going to quickly open my drink while I do this. Right. Hopefully, our men will be able to do kind of exactly what we want them to do. We really want to, like, show the, the, the archers are, um, kind of, well, not show, but kind of see if the archers are worth their, um, weight in whatever we pay for them. Their weight in gold. Obviously, I know they're basic Sagittari, but I still hope that they're good. Now, obviously, we do have a max rank, uh, like, some max rank troops. We have our Optio in the center here doing a being like our uh, new officer, so he's our second in command at the moment. Alright, the archers have proven their worth. They've got a single kill. That is already like enough to me though. Like they've proven that they are actually going to be useful. Oh, bloody hell. That, uh, that was uh, straight into my gut there. 
Um, yeah, so now we just need to break this line. So once we uh, once we get high enough to join a faction, like I said, we're gonna we're gonna run and join um, the Northern Imperium, and hopefully, obviously, everything will be able to go from there. Um, oh, right. I should also do something that I said I, w I didn't say out loud I was going to do, but I actually decided I was going to do, um, you know, uh, oh, yeah, no, well built. As much as I like this, that is better. Right, so we're going to quickly change some of the rules when it comes to the diplomacy mod. Fuck storyline protection, doesn't matter. Right, so enable scaling gold costs. Uh, I'm going to do this up to 10. That's 20, Joe. Okay, I can't read. Um, scaling war preparations, 75. Uh, defeated war reparations gold cost, 1,000. Influence. Enable influence cost, enable influence scaling cost. I'm happy with that being as normal for now. Civil wars, 0 0.1. I oh, don't know, I said... Oh, apparently this dot doesn't work. There we go, 15%, uh, a 50% chance. Uh, the rest I'm going to leave, as it is. Um, oh, maximum faction duration in days? 60. Um, faction tendency zero is fine. Expansionism is honestly fine. Uh, enable influence decay. Maximum influence loss per day, 20. That's fine. Label corruption, influence decay. Yeah, all of that's fine. Now, the most important one is minimum alliance duration days. That's fine. Like I said, all of this should be fine. The one that really matters is wars. Uh, where's the wartime one? Oh, there it is. Minimum war duration, 35 days. And 60 days in between wars is fine. Um, uh, Right. No wars. When, okay, so this we'll see what they're like as well. So there we go. That's so basically I've added those rules just to kind of make the game a little bit more interesting. Okay, so we've now got what I believe is already max tier archers, which is great. Um, now I am interested in what. So I, I'm assuming that they, yes, they require my uh, mossy call and they cost me twenty gold. So these guys are really fucking expensive, but. They're also really good compared to, you know, uh, Tiro's, uh, yeah, the hundreds there, Skull. So they are better. A lot better. So we now have, like, really good troops. They just cost a little bit, like an arm and a leg. Uh, so we do need to be careful. But, like, very careful. So I'm not overly worried um, in, the, uh, in that sense. I still think we nice will be able look. to absolutely make the money on this and make it completely worthwhile let's say hello to our praetorians now when we uh, get off our horse and we can see them at the front row there there's our praetorian i wish all praetorians had cloaks because they look really cool and as you can see they have the praetorian shield uh if i remember correctly yep stabbed emperors denari equals loyalty Still one of like my favorite jokes in from the game is like that Forward. little meme on the uh move, move. Uh, on the uh, thing. Forward, forward, move. It, move. Through will to enemy. We'll move over just so we can uh, make sure we can see everything. Um but yeah, as soon as we are able to join as a mercenary as well, we'll be out access to the full uh armory. It's gonna be really cool. Um don't know what armor I intend to wear this time, but uh you know, we'll see. Uh, it's going to be a good either way. Now, I do apologize if it doesn't feel if it feels like I'm just kind of playing a game and talking over it instead of having you know the normal, fully fleshed out ideas and whatnot. And that's because I this idea I've been trying to do and I've been kind of putting off for a few days. Like I was meant to come out with this the day after I the last campaign finished, and honestly, the fact that this is going to be dying uh, not a week later, but it's dying late in general, is a little annoying uh, to myself. Like I'm, I'm annoyed myself by doing that. So I'm gonna try. I'm trying to get this out to make sure I've done it and force myself to start it. Because once I've started, you know, oh, the campaign will be easy for me to play. I, it's just I do sometimes hate starting campaigns purely because I don't know. I just I'm not good at starting stuff. But there we go. Another beautiful victory for us. Uh, some barbarians. We don't need. We don't need, we don't need them. Another beautiful masterwork spear. So let's go sell all this amazing stuff, which will hopefully put us over uh, up to a good amount of gold. Um, 
looks like you are already at war with someone. Yeah, you're already at war with... Oh, yes. The Germanics have been added as well. Uh, yeah, so these guys have their own units now, and they're really interesting. I have had a look at them. Uh, so every faction now has its own independent units. There are no base game units. It feels really cool. Uh, it also looks like um, these guys have their own, like, looks as well. Quickly sell everything now. Will the smithy crash? No, okay, smithy doesn't crash. So we could make our own um, gladii, um, OGOs, jab pillar and javelins. Um, not that I'd make a javelin. I'd make a, I'd make a pilum. Very specifically, I'd make a weighted pilum. Um, I wouldn't make. I mean, we could make a haster as well. Um, that's cool. Um, yeah, I, I mean. Wait, the long one, okay, the long one, yeah, is, I mean, 139, 124, yeah, 139, 43, yeah, they are uh, some interesting spears there, and then obviously we've got the base game stuff, which we're just going to ignore. Uh, I don't intend to do smithing that much, probably only for the skills as usual. Um, ooh. Oh, wow, they have new helmets. Oh, damn. Because uh, because we currently don't have access to the armory, we can't even look at what they've got other than what's here. Wait. That's only a couple of grand? Damn, that's like a lot better than what I've got as well. Yeah, shit, I'll buy that. Um, Like, wh why would I not buy that? That's literally better than what I've got. And I'm only paying a little bit of gold. Like, honestly, I'd be dumb to not buy it. Uh, but looking at the rest of these, uh, we are going to... What? Uh, I... It's... Okay, so all of these are only promotable through specifically the Legionari troops. So we do need to remember that. Right, 25 Barbari. Oh, Didn't mean to catch the Gladiator Rebels in there because the Gladiator Rebels are typically very good. But sod it. They're here, so we need to fight them. Of course, we're going to jump straight off our horse because our horse is not going to be very useful to us as an infantryman. And we've got to hope that our archers can do a lot of damage before uh, we need to uh, get close. But yeah, you know this immediate upgrade in like armor is really cool. They are quite far away, which makes sense. We can wait though. And move! Soldiers! Move! 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 There we go. We'll just reorganize my to make sure they are uh, in a good position. Now, the gladiators, if I remember correctly, do have varying armor, as you'd expect. But typically, they did seem to be, like, the strongest rebels I'd encountered in my small test. We'll have to wait and see. Once we have enough archers, they uh, once they're good enough, they we should be fine. Um, I think it's just the, is it is it the Tiro? I think are the best ones. Really don't know to be fair. Infantry, charge! Yeah, we don't want our. I know that charging is obviously not always the best because you don't want to you know block your archers, but sometimes. Uh, specifically in this, I think it is best to block your archers because you don't want them getting killed by uh, enemy like missile fire. And a lot of units do seem to have missile uh, throwing weapons, so we do that is something we do need to be careful with. Oh, look at that! Look at that guy! Bloody hell! Got like a shit brick out there. Okay, I'm gonna quickly check my um, difficulty settings because I, I I don't know. I feel this feels like it's going too well for us. I'm going to check my... I'm pretty sure I did put them on. Yep, it's on... Okay. Don't know why we're having such an easy time, but um, I guess I shouldn't complain. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use wrapped handles for a change because it should make my life a little easier. Uh, we're halfway to Clan Tier 2. Oh, sorry, Clan Tier 1, which is good. Uh, um, now, the one thing I haven't fought is any other Rebel types other than the basic ones. 
Um, not because I, you know, didn't want to. I just haven't, you know, encountered them. This is the furthest north I've actually been. I'm going to put a point in there to get my uh, thing up a little bit quicker. Don't need any new troops. Let's sell everything we've currently got. Grab a few more troops. I don't know what I just did, but I somehow put another window down without having to touch. Be proud. Um, I'm going to spend four grand on getting the pie a bit faster. I still have to have a horse because if I don't have a horse, we go a little slower. You know what? Let's reset this. I, I don't want to. 3.7 will do for now. Uh, let's try and get one more battle before we end this part for uh, the first no part of the series. Um, for the Barbari. On my archer, forward, um, should be an easy battle, a fun battle. Yeah, they'll uh, they'll be in sight soon. Put me forward. Reorganize you. So, um, yeah. So we will be like I said, we'll test the other factions as well. Right. I do wonder if what archers will be the best, or if we even have access to crossbows anymore. I'm assuming that the uh, the hand blister is going to be the crossbow variant, so probably won't have access to you know the ballistas anymore, like the uh, really cool crossbows. My throwing skill is absolutely fucking dogger. Footman, attack! Well, the archers got a single kill. That's all we really can expect from them. Now, we kill. Now, of course, we, we are going to want to get more throwing weapons as well. Uh, it's going to be a very useful skill for us to have. Damn, I can't even get a stab in at the moment. My men are just too, too bloodthirsty. Here. Yeah, again, um, we only really want archers right now. Legendary Germanic, no, we're only going to wear Empire clothing. Thank you very much. I appreciate the offer. Now, for those of you who, who I uh, knew, knew, I did say that the next campaign we do on Eagle Rising would be the, um, the uh, Spartacus one. The reason we're not doing that one yet is not because I want to go back on my word complete opposite if i'm honest it's because i want to make sure that the uh, like i want to understand how the new system works before i uh, like do it because i don't want to essentially commit to something that's going to basically kind of we're phrasing this i don't want to essentially do something that's not going to work you know I want to make sure the campaign has merits, is playable, and is going to be something like we can actually do and, you know, keep going for a long time. That's the main goal here. Um, oh, there's no fucking... Hey, there's no... Uh, one minute, let's uh, take some of those away. Go down to 10 of you, and we'll go down to 10 of you. Take those off. We'll go down to... There we go. I will pay 400 there we go but yeah so i want to make sure everything's gonna go you know in a way that makes sense you know what fuck it we're gonna do one more battle i'm gonna be a generous with the first part of this the question is can i find a fat enemy uh, rebel army quickly enough 12 is not 11 glad rebels yeah we'll do that Gladiator rebels i want to see just how strong these 11 are on their own and see if i've just been uh i just see if i just had some really bad know. luck when i first tested the game You know, I don't know why they chose to be so far away, but all right. Off you go, horse. Thank you. You know what? We can actually move to a better position. So we're going to move archers to here. Infantry to there. Yeah, archers can go here perfectly. They'll be able to shoot over my infantry. Footmen! Everyone turn to enemy! Everyone will be able to do what they need to do. See? Perfection. I don't know 
like how they do that cool little stance there. I want to do that stance, but it won't let me. I like how as a young man, we already have like a well-built up army as well. Like a well-built well, well up little, little, little militia. I'm very proud of us. Uh, yeah, our archers have done nothing. Okay, just charge. I thought our, uh, our archers had done something, but no. they had done, unfortunately, very little. Okay, these gladiators are surprisingly, uh, yeah, not surprisingly, sorry, they are uh, as buff as I remember being. Uh, just unfortunately, we seem to have got very lucky with our men. Glad gladiator provo 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 provocator. Ah, uh, shit, we'll take the prisoners, why not? I'll go see how much they're worth. They're probably actually worth quite a bit. Um, yes, keep the date fruits as well. Uh, we'll quickly go back to Epicrotia and we'll sell everything. And then from there, we will, uh, in the next part, we'll essentially see where we're standing. So we're nearly, we're already at 10 grand. Let's have a quick look at the public armory. So the public armory is pretty shit, uh, as you'd expect. It's uh, got the auxiliary shields, which obviously, as you can all see, you can now see the shield instead of it just being like a glitchy mess. Uh, ooh, that is the best armor I can buy, and it's really fucking good. Only 12 grand as well. What the fuck? Uh, Gladiator helmets, iron grip. That's 70 leg armor. Okay. Something just that just feels like a little bit over overpowered, but um, you know we'll we'll uh, in we'll investigate this later. Um, there's obviously togas and the cool stuff there. There's obviously the saddle of Aeneas, and then it's, I don't know why there's I don't know what that saddle is. Is there like a special like thing to do with this saddle? Fuck knows. It weighs a lot. It's got less armor. I I don't understand, but um, yeah. Sorry, just uh, I just wanted to test that, but um, yeah. So we'll, we'll be doing some stuff with that later, but uh, unfortunately, guys, we are gonna have to end this part here. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy, please do follow me on YouTube. Leave a like, leave a comment, share. It really helps out the first part of a new series, and I'll see you all in the next one. See you guys then.